September 15th to October 15th is Hispanic Heritage Month. In recognition of this, Community Hotline is featuring Portland Latin American Film Festival, now in its 15th year. With us today to talk about the Portland Latin American Film Festival is Maria Ostroth. Maria, it's great to see you again. Oh, it's great to see you. Thank you very much for yes, the opportunity. You're welcome. I know that uh, Portland is, uh, has had the Latin American Film Festival here now for, for how many years is it? 15 years. 15 years. So this is your 15 year anniversary. Congratulations. Yes, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a pretty big deal. That's a long yeah. time. Did you ever think when you started it, it would be around this much longer? I mean, well, to be honest, I didn't expect to be in this country for so long. Oh. <laughs> and I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, you are. You so, are. Yeah. Well, it's, it's to our benefit. So is there anything over the last I don't know, 15 years that, that really stands out or that is memorable to you about about the film festival as you've as you've gone through the the different versions of it well i'm i really uh, like that we uh, were able to bring some directors to portland to talk to the audience and there was an event that i really enjoyed because i'm a big uh, fan of music so probably like five years ago we brought these um djs from tijuana uh, Bostich and Fusible, they are very popular in Mexico and in big uh, music festivals around the world. So I'm a big fan. And there was a documentary about um, sonidos or sounds of Tijuana. And uh, we were able to invite the director of the film. And also we closed after the, the movie with a nice party, dancing with electronic uh, music. And what I like about them is that they mix uh, like a Norteño music. Uh, it's like a special kind of music in the north of Mexico with electronic uh, beats and rhythms and samples. Uh, so it was a very exciting uh, moment. I remember that my, my son was probably three or four years old mm -hmm. and he also wa was there. So I, I really enjoy it. So one of the things that makes me excited about the festival is the opportunity not only to see the movies but also to talk to the uh, directors or the people behind the movies and bring them to to Portland so the people also can interact with them and learn a little bit about the process of uh, making a film. Right and, and they get a chance to ask questions about the movie and, exactly. and uh, about their process or just um, sometimes just get a little bit of background about why did you do this or why did you do you know why did you choose mm -hmm. that uh, it does make it very interesting it's more uh, it's 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 more fun than just watching the movie you know, it gives yes. you a more you know holistic picture of how that all works adding the music that's a great idea I like that one yeah. so what about this year the 15th year what what can we expect in this year's uh, event and so, I know that last year it was also a, it was a, a virtual event correct yeah exactly due, uh, due to the pandemic unfortunately we had to stay at home but still we were able to bring some films and watch them in our computers or in mm -hmm. our uh, big screens at home with our uh, loved ones but for me at least for me it's it's not as exciting as going to the movie theater right because mm -hmm. when I started these a festival, it was the idea to create community and watch films, learn from our cultures and also enjoy the films with other people. And after the movie, grab a drink, a coffee or whatever, and just talk about the films. I think that movies are better enjoyed when you are with others, right? I, I so, agree, I agree. Yeah, so last year we had to stay home because of the uh, circumstances. However, uh, this year, we know that this is not over yet, but at least we know that we have the vaccine and many people are, have been vaccinated and we can cover our mouths and using the masks. So that gives us some relief, right? So the Hollywood theater will give us 50% uh, only capacity. So okay. the theater holds probably like 400 people. So we are expecting to sell like around 200 uh, tickets Absolutely. and still it's a good amount of mm -hmm. people in a in a screening so don't be afraid if you want to go to the movies just uh, make sure that you bring your mask mm -hmm. and uh, if you are vaccinated even better I'm not sure if the theater is asking uh, for the vaccination card but 
for your own security, just like uh, just be vaccinated. That's my <laughs> advice. <laughs> I like that. And, and if you are, it's a good idea to have the card with you, uh, just yeah. in case you do require that. Yeah, so yeah. I encourage you to take the courage <laughs> to get out and go to the movie theater again and watch movies, enjoy movies, talk to other people that probably you haven't seen in over a year or give yourself the opportunity to talk with a stranger, mm -hmm. obviously with your mask. Uh, I don't want to live in fear. I right. don't like and to live in fear. <laughs> people have really missed going out and having those social, you know, those social occasions when they can, they can talk to people, whether it be the person that they came with or, or a stranger, because, you know, that's, that's part of what community is all about. So if, you know, if we're able to do this in a, you know, a relatively safe environment, then I think that's, that's a good thing. Uh, so, so it's going to be at the Hollywood theater again. They've yes. been a great partner. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. And, um, and it's a series of films, correct? Yes. So exactly. it starts September. What, when's the first 22nd? It's 22nd. Uh, on a Wednesday. So it's uh, four weeks from this uh, Wednesday to okay. uh, September 22nd at the Hollywood theater. All the screenings will start at 7 30. So we want to give people the opportunity to leave their works, maybe go to their houses and refresh themselves and get with enough time to grab a drink and sit down and enjoy the film in the right atmosphere with the right people. And right. Um, I'm very excited because this year, again, we are going back to the theater. Hopefully mm -hmm. everything is going to remain as we are planning. And um, also we always have brought films that haven't been available in any other like a uh, platforms like Netflix right. or that's one of our policies right um, but this year because it's a very special occasion we are gonna start the film festival with a old movie oh. a movie that it's celebrating 20 years and the name of the movie and I'm gonna say it in Spanish I, I'm, I'm sure they will know this movie is Y tu mamá también or and your mama too. Yeah, this movie was released 20 years ago and it was oh. one of the first films by Alfonso Cuaron. And actually he um, co-produced and co-directed this film with his brother, Alejandro Cuaron. So, mm -hmm. and this movie also made very famous worldwide, um, Gael Garcia Bernal and uh, Diego Luna. So right. they are very young, very handsome, and it's a, it's a funny movie. And, for me, it brings me memories when it was. It does, it does for me, too. I remember my daughter is the first one that, that showed me that movie. I think it was probably the first Spanish language film I ever saw. And oh, I, really? And I, and I loved it. I loved it. So I, I have to take a look at that one, too. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's a good thing. That's one of the um, things that I really like about the festival. It doesn't matter if you know Spanish or not. You, you know, if, if you don't know English, whatever, it's you, you, anybody can watch it because you'll have either subtitles or. or yes, um, they definitely uh, will have subtitles title yeah, so yeah. and uh, yeah it's the opportunity again as I said probably you you saw this movie a while ago but it's nice to see the the movie again in a different context probably mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, with different people and in a big screen right. and even though you maybe saw the movie for the first time in a big screen it's nice again to refresh and you will discover new things right, right. so I'm very excited it's one of my favorite movie so it brings me memories from home from mexico yeah. the beaches yeah. in mexico the beaches that i remember going when i was growing up like uh sunny with uh coconuts and uh so it's just <laughs> yeah. nice i'm looking forward to that so um we will go ahead and um, plan on going to the portland latin american film festival that will be starting on september 22nd you can go to the website we'll have the dates and all the information that people need and uh we'll ch we'll check it out there and and hopefully get to see some of our old friends and new friends at the at the film festival yeah and i was going to mention also that um we have a website that it's working right now it's in progress but it's not on my hands even though i'm trying to get it ready but the facebook page is one mm. of the best ways oh, for okay. people for, for people to follow up and just to see what is going on and all the details they can also contact me directly and i will be i will make sure that all their questions are answered so just okay. look at the portland latin american film festival either on Instagram or in Facebook, those are the best 
ways to way. reach out. Okay, sounds good. We will see you there then. Thanks so very much, Maria. Appreciate it. Thank and, you very uh, much for the opportunity. The and we'll see you at the movies. Nos okay. vemos en el cine. Sounds good. Thank you. You bet. And thanks uh, for watching this segment of Community Hotline. We'll see you at the festival. Thank you.